Hey guys, welcome to this video. Here we are going to be looking at important client relationships into XPM. Now, a client relationship gives you the ability to set up a client and then create relationships against it. For example, we could have directors, we could have shareholders, or a number of other relationships, which we're going to look at very shortly. So what I'm going to do here in this example is we have the client Rick's Pickles Limited, and we want to create two 50-50 shareholders for that. So we're going to use Adam Tainui and Bobby McGilberts. We want to create in a spreadsheet that relationship and we'll import it and we'll look at it in the system how that has been set up so let's jump in and we'll check it out together okay so here I am in our clients menu now uh, first thing I want to point out is if we're creating relationships within XPM we have to have everyone set up as clients first so you might have the relationship where you have a company and then you have uh, two shareholders those shareholders have to be set up as clients and not as contacts so uh, that's a really important point here so what I'll do is I'm just going to check these so we want to have Adam Tainui and Bobby McGilbert, and they are going to become shareholders of Rick's Pickles Limited. So I just wanted to check them uh, just to show you which ones we're looking at here. So what we'll do is I'll show you the spreadsheet that we're going to work with, which is here, and I'll leave this below the video as well so you can download it. We've got name, related name, relationship, number of shares, percentage, start date, and end date. Now let's have a look at what each of these fields are. So I've got this uh, help uh, item here from Zero's Help Central. So the name is the name of the client you're importing the relationship against and it's really important that we spell these correctly because if we spell them wrong, it's not going to work. The related name will be the related party. And then for the relationship, we've got all of these options here to choose from. So director, shareholder, trustee, beneficiary, partner, settler, security, all of these here uh, can be imported as relationships. Now, uh, these other ones here are uh, optional. So for example, if we're gonna set up wife, it doesn't necessarily have a number of shares. This is more for uh, when you're setting up shareholding relationships. So what we've got is the number of shares and then the percentage that they hold and then the start date and the end date. Now these are these are obviously not all compulsory fields, but what we'll do is we'll set these up uh, in uh, XPM now. So what I'll do is I'll jump back over into that spreadsheet and we'll start with the name. So probably good practice to either copy out of your other spreadsheet or to copy from here. So I'm gonna grab Rick's Pickles Limited. We'll put that up there. And I'm going to put this in twice. The reason I'm doing that twice is because we've got two related names here. So oh, I've just clicked in. So we've got no relationships set up right now. So that's what we're doing right now. So I'm going to grab uh, Bobby McGilbert like that. And then we've got Adam Tainui. put them in, then the relationship is going to be shareholder. I'm just going to double check that needed to be with a capital, I'm pretty sure it does, but here we go, shareholder. Then the total number of shares held by each related party, so I'm going to go 50, 50. Now the percentage here, this is something that actually doesn't get loaded into XPM, so you can leave that blank. Uh, I don't really know why that field is there, but I'll show you anyway if we put 50 in here and 50 in here. Now, um, I have found in the past, if you put the percentage in there, it doesn't accept the import. So you don't want to put a percentage in. Um, so yeah, anyway, pretty much in a relevant field, but I'll show you that. Now the start date, let's say this relationship started on 1.1.15, which is when the company was founded, let's say. And then end date, we can leave that blank because that's not relevant if the relationship hasn't ended. That's more for when we're updating relationships in the system. Now the next thing is we want to also import them as directors as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this, or copy these. Oh, not like that. And I'm going to paste them here and update this to be director. So obviously we've got more than just the shareholding relationships here. So if I just hit save here on the template, and then let's go into business settings, and we're going to do the import now. So I'm opening up a new tab. I'm going to go down to import, choose the file type to be client relationships, comma separated. Now update existing, this is something that we can't do, so we can't actually update our relationships through an import. If we do want to update a relationship, we need to click into the client and then do that adjustment manually. Uh, this update existing does not work for client relationship imports. So choose the file and then hit import. And we've got four rows imported. So if we jump back into the client now, go down to Rick's Pickles Limited. And you can see that we have created a director relationship. These are the two directors. 
We also have a shareholding relationship, which are the two shareholders. So what you want to be doing is if you do have shareholders and directors, you just put them on separate lines as easy as that. So that is how you set up client relationships in XPM. I'll see you in the next video.